Hello everybody, welcome to the Open Scissor Arm talk at the Open Scissor Virtual Conference. We will see what happened since the last Open Scissor LibreOffice conference in the ARM world. The agenda for today is the following. I will start with a quick in introduction to, of myself. And we'll have an overview of Open Scissor ARM workflow. And We'll talk about Open Build Service and Open QA. Um, also, Tumbleweed, Kubic MicroOS, and the Leap and Step projects. And we uh, will have a little word about OpenSUSE Wiki. And finally, the to do list. So, who am I? I'm Guillaume Gardet. I'm a member of the OpenSUSE community for years now. I'm engineer at ARM, part of the distro team from the OSS group. I'm dedicated to SUSE and OpenSUSE since 2018. I'm a member of the OpenSUSE release team, taking care of ARM ar architectures. My main focus is about AR64, the 64-bit flavor. Uh, and we have support for these architectures in Tumbleweed and Leap. The same for ARMv7, Tumbleweed and Leap are covered. But for ARMv6, uh, it's Tumbleweed only and it's more in maintenance mode. Um, no big uh, things happening uh, on ARMv7. Now we'll have a quick overview of OpenSUSE on ARM workflow to understand how to to update things and get uh, new packages or updates uh, in the distribution for ARM. We'll start with an overview of OpenSUSE workflow for x86. Uh, we have um, a project called Factory in OBS where we build packages for x86. And if Factory finished to build, a new snapshot is pushed to OpenQA. And if OpenQA is green, or if we, cho if we choose to ignore some failures, we can release this snapshot to the users and we call it Tumbleweed. If we want to update something in Factory, we need to submit the update uh, to the F Factory project. And we have a process uh, of review, automatic review by bots and some manual review. We have also pre-integration testing uh, with OpenQA and few install checker, uh, few bots to, to check if everything is okay. And if this submission is accepted, uh, the, the package is updated in factory we need to wait for um, the build to finish, and again, it is a new snapshot is pushed to OpenQA, and then it will be released to to the user as Tumbleweed. So this is for OpenSUSE um, Factory and Tumbleweed for x86. Now for ARM. Uh, the project is not OpenSUSE Factory in OBS, but OpenSUSE Factory ARM, which is a link uh, to the x86 project. So all sources are reused and updated in real time. And we just have a small overlay um, to handle the snapshot version for ARM and the content of ISO and FTP trees, which might differ from uh, x86 ones. So if you want something uh, to be updated in Tumbleweed for ARM, you need to push it to uh, OpenSUSE Factory project, and it will be inherited in ARM sub-project. For OpenSUSE Lib 15.3, um, it's a bit different now, because uh, it used to be a separate project for ARM, but now R64 is directly included in OpenSUSE Lib 15.3 project. So it will be easy for AR64. But for ARMv7, 
uh, we are not included uh, in 15.3 project, so we still have a sub-project which is OpenCZLib 15.3 ARM and this project links to OpenCZLib 15.3 uh, and also to step projects. I will give more details about it later. So if we go back to, to the workflow uh, for ARM, for Tumble Read, uh, you need to submit your update to factory, I mean the x86 factory project. Then sources are inherited in real time uh, by ARM sub project. On the build finish in the ARM sub project, uh, a new snapshot is pushed to OpenQA for ARM. And if it is uh, greeniness, uh, it will be pushed to, to the user's um, uh, release uh, as Tumbleweed for ARM. And again, if OpenQA shows some blockers, the snapshot is not released to the user and we can fix it by a new submission and the next snapshot is tested, uh, tested again and so on. Now we'll have um, a word about Open Build Service, the OBS. The good news is we will have more build power for ARM uh, in OBS um, rather soon. But we already have enough build power for IR64 to enable rings rebuilds. So we have two rings, a small ring uh, called Bootstrap and a bigger ring uh, called Minimal X, uh, where we have um, core packages uh, which can be rebuilt um, at all the time. So the first one, uh, Ring Zero Bootstrap, is green already, but we still have few build failures to fix in Minimal X. Unfortunately, we don't have enough build power to enable. Uh, staging projects for R64, so we only have staging projects for x86, which already discover some problems which are common um, between architectures. And of course, since um, the the last talk, we we fixed a lot of build failures for ARM. Few build statistics from last week. Um, it's for open to the tumbleweed for IR64 and x86. So you can see that um, build failure and unresolvables are mostly the same uh, between uh, both architectures. From OpenQA, so the current situation is we have um, a local worker which is a D05 machine, which allow us to, to have uh, 16 chemo workers. But we also have remote workers. Um, so we have two Amazon uh, web service machine. So the first one is a A1 uh, with only three chemo workers and also an M6G. Uh, machine which allows us to have 10 chemo workers uh, which are LSE capable. We have also a part time worker uh, which is uh, based on a Onecom LX2K and allows us to have three chemo workers. This machine is only part time because it's also used to, to build some packages locally, so it's not online um, all the time. And we also have some real hardware tests um, with, thanks to the general hardware backend. So we have a Raspberry Pi 2, uh, which is an ARM v7 machine. And we also have a Raspberry Pi 3 and one Raspberry Pi 4. Both of uh, those machines are IR64. few values from last week. Uh, so you can see that we have lots of tests for Tumbleweed for ARM. We are still behind x86 but um, we are already have a good coverage.
regarding um, tumbleweed, micro s, cubic, and leap. We still have um, automated email notification with main changes, uh, which are sent uh, as soon as a new snapshot is released, which is great to, to get uh, the major changes. Um, please note that only the changes from packages uh, present on the DVD are shown, not the full changes on the FTP3, but uh, still it's um, a good uh, overview of the changes. Of course, lots of packages have been fixed. Uh, can be at build time in OBS or, or at runtime, thanks to OpenQA. We have always new packages and new system, new devices support and new features, uh, thanks to the up-to-date kernel and up-to-date user space. Also, some systems move uh, away from country projects in OBS to the main tumbleweed. Uh, we have some ARM-specific features uh, additions, so you can go to the wiki on the ARM ar architecture support to get the, the latest information. So we had already LSE Atomics enabled uh, since June last year. Regarding pointer authentication and branch target identification, BTI, um, we already had uh, kernel space support uh, from June and August last year, but we now have also user space support uh, since November. Another uh, feature is uh, memory tagging extensions, MTE. So we have um, user space support since February and kernel space support uh, since May. Kernel space support is, has been added um, in kernel debug flavor uh, thanks to the hardware CASA. Regarding LIB15.3, uh, the big news is that uh, R64 is now part of the main LIB15.3 project. It's not in a separated project anymore. Um, how is LIB built nowadays? Um, it's fairly simple because uh, we get SLI 15 SP3 binaries, RPM packages, for core packages, I mean GCC, kernel, KMU. And then we have additional packages from Package Hub project. Uh, and finally, we have few packages added on top, mainly for branding. Uh, and thanks to all those packages, we have LI 15.3. Of course, during the development, a lot of packages uh, have been fixed, can be at build time or at runtime. And finally, we get only 15 build failures for IR64 in package up. For ARMv7, it's a bit different because um, we cannot be uh, based on RPM from SLI. Uh, the enterprise uh, RPM because ARMv7 is not supported there. So we need to rebuild packages for ARMv7 from SLI sources. This is done in step projects and it, these step projects are only used for ARMv7 for now but it could be used for additional architectures in the future. If you want to get more information, you can go uh, to the OpenSUSE wiki on portal lib slash OpenSUSE step uh, page. I also linked um, the an announcements for MV7 support for lib 15.3. Uh, if you want to read it, you can go to news.opensuse.org and you will find it easily. Um, the information is uh, lib 15.3 for ARMv7 is not yet released uh, because it's still a, a work in progress. Regarding the OpenSUSE wiki, um, the main entry page um, is the uh, ARM portal. And we have updated few pages um, 
in the ARM namespace. Uh, the first one is, of course, the, the portal uh, itself, portal ARM, and also um, hardware compatibility layer pages uh, have, the, have been updated. And HCL pages are now um, browsable by system and chip, which can be easy for, for people to, to browse. And of course, um, as I told you before, um, page with latest status of ARM architecture extensions um, uh, enablement is kept up to date. So it's on ARM underscore architectures underscore support. Finally, we, I will have a word about the to-do list. So we need to release lib 15.3 for MV7 um, as soon as it is ready. I uh, don't have any ETA yet. We need to improve continuously the wiki with new information and up-to-date information. So if you have something to, to write on your own board, please do it. We need to improve OBS as well. Um, we need to, to enable ARM build on more developed projects uh, to catch failure as soon as possible. If you, if you detect the build failure in the developed project, um, likely it will not reach um, open to the tumbleweed uh, and will uh, save a lot of time. So if you have um, some packages in your own devil project, please enable uh, ARM build, especially um, for IR64. We can still improve OpenQA. Um, we can likely add more IR64 tests. Uh, we could also extend uh, the general hardware backend, which is used for real hardware backend, currently uh, mainly for Raspberry Pi 2, 3, and 4. Um, my main ideas uh, are to add support for HDMI to USB devices, which would allow to, to check the screen output of the, of the machine. Currently, we only test uh, through um, a secure shell connection over network. We could also add USB gadget support to send mouse and keyboard events. We continuously monitor build and test failures, um, so we need to fix uh, the failures as soon as possible. Uh, we need to report and or fix bugs on OpenSUSE Bugzilla, um, can be done upstream as well. And we need some help uh, to test and get feedback on systems. Um, could be small boards or big servers. Um, even if all is fine, um, please report uh, the status. You can help us to update some software as well, to add new features. For example, um, we added uh, Vulkan to, to Mesa package. Uh, recently for ARM. And we could have some help also on WSL support uh, in OBS for IR64. So we have a, a work in progress project in my home namespace. So if you want to, to help, please reach out. If you want to join uh, the ARM team, you can do it on IRC. So it's still, still the OpenSUSE-ARM uh, channel, but we moved away from Freenode and we are now on Libera.chat. Also, the mailing list um, has been updated, so it's not OpenSUSE-ARM at OpenSUSE.org anymore. It's now ARM at list.OpenSUSE.org. Thank you for your attention. Uh, and if you have questions, um, please reach out and enjoy the rest um, of the conference.